Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here, and I'm with Matt. How are you, Matt? I'm good, how you doing? I'm doing well. We're by the Brooklyn Bridge on your home turf. Yep. And today we're talking about what? Today we're talking about crop sensors. Which is a very, very important subject. It is. A lot of people are using DSLRs in production now, video production. And depending on what camera system they're using, they have to understand what happens when they use a lens with a full frame sensor or a crop sensor camera, right? Exactly. So what do we have set up right here? So here we have a 5D Mark II and it's a full frame sensor. Right. And here we have a 60D and it's an APS-C crop sensor camera. Got it. Anybody who's ever shot with a 35 millimeter camera, just even a stills camera when they were growing up, they loaded 35 millimeter film in there. And the imaging size for that film is the same as what we have in the full frame DSLR camera. Yep, same but thing. But that's not true in the crop sensor, right? Right, it's a, it's a smaller uh, coverage area. Okay, so the sensor's imaging size is smaller than what we get in the full frame. And therefore, something happens when we use our lenses on that, right? Right, basically the, your field of view ends up becoming effectively narrower. Okay, so if we're using a 50 millimeter lens on a full frame camera, and it is a 50 millimeter field of view. Yep. What happens to it when we use an APS-C sensor? Uh, well, basically when we're looking at that, we have to do a little bit of math, yep. a little factor conversion, and it's a 1.6 times crop factor. Okay. So this 50 effectively becomes the field of view of an 80 millimeter. Got it. But the thing that we should point out, which is probably the most important thing, and is really an area of confusion for a lot of people, is it doesn't actually become an 80 millimeter lens. Correct. The optics in the lens are exactly the same. It's not necessarily giving you a more compressed image, like if you move to an 80 or an 85 millimeter focal length. It's just giving you an effective angle of view or field of view of an 80 millimeter lens. Right. So that's a really important thing for people to understand. So then there's a whole line of lenses like this EFS 17 to 55 millimeter lens. And what are these all about? Uh, these are designed specifically for the APS-C sensor cameras. Got it. So if we try to use this lens on a full frame camera because it's designed for this crop sensor, it actually won't fill the entire sensor area right. of this full frame camera. So we can't use these lenses on a full frame camera, but Canon has done something to really make sure that we don't make that mistake. Right. Yeah, so what have they done? Well, basically the, the depth of the rear element on these lenses would actually hit the mirror inside a full frame camera. Got it. But what they've done is they've put this rubber bumper on so that if you actually try to put it onto a full frame camera, it's gonna protect the mirror of your camera. Very clever. So in summary, I think the most important thing for people to remember, right, Matt, is that when they're using a lens on a crop sensor camera, that it is going to change the the effective, effective field of view. Right, right, exactly. But it's still that focal length. Right. And that's the thing to really remember is that you're not changing the focal length of the lens. You're just changing the effective angle of view. Correct. And thanks so much, man. Great, thank you.